So hey, what's up mga kote? It's me, Ate Maria, at welcome sa ako. Do you know where learning is the name of the game? So kung bago ka pa lamang sa aming YouTube channel, i-click mo na subscribe, like, and share button para maging updated ka sa aming mga videos. So samahan natin si Super Key sa panibagong araw at panibagong lesson na ating matututunan dito sa ako. Do you know? At ang bagong lesson natin for today is about the vertebrates ay, at ito naman ay ang reptile. So noong una, meron tayong amphibians. So susumunod natin yung video ay birds and fish. Fish ngayon naman is reptiles. So, before we start our lesson proper, meron akong trivia for you. So, if you fart constantly 6 years and 9 months, you have produced enough gas to create the energy of an atomic bomb. So, pag umuutot ka pala, so, consistently na 6 years and 9 months, meron ka na nakakaproduce ka na ng enough energy na kagaya sa atomic bomb. So, ganon. Enough gas na yon to create the energy of an atomic bomb. So, imagine, kakautot mo, nakakaano ka pa ng gas ng atomic bomb. So, yan ang ating trivia for this day. If you, fa if you fight constantly for 6 years and 9 months, you have produced enough gas to create energy of an atomic bomb. So, ito na ang ating lesson proper. So, ang ating objective for today is malaman natin ang characteristics of reptiles. And of course, example ng reptiles na tinatawag din nating vertebrates. Reptiles were the ruling life forms on Earth 150 million years ago. The best known reptiles were the dinosaurs. So, remember yung sa mga Mesozoic, Paleozoic era, di ba? Sa Mesozoic era, meron tayong mga dinosaurs na nag sa ating land. If I'm not mistaken, that's Mesozoic. And susunod na yung Mesozoic, which is the mammals. So, yan. Sila nagro-rule ng ating mundo 150 million years ago. So, meron na tayong reptiles 150 million years ago. So, a reptile is an animal whose animal whose, whose animal whose body is covered with dry and scaly skin. So, dry siya and medyo may makaliskis siyang type of skin and texture. So, yan ang tinatawag nating reptile. So, characteristics ng ating reptiles. <clears throat> medyo napapausap po ako pero carry pa ito reptiles use lungs to breathe most reptiles have four legs when air temperature changes their body temperature also change wow kung iba-iba yung temperature ng air mag-iiba din yung temperature ng kanilang body so most rep most reptiles lay eggs so kagaya ng, bir kagaya ng birds and fishes naglilay din sila ng eggs so yan and they use its lungs to breathe. They have four legs. And kapag ang temperature nagbago, magbabago din yung temperature ng kanilang katawan. So, next one. Alligators and crocodiles have strong jaws and powerful tails. They are carnivores. They only feed only on meat. So, pag sinabi natin carnivore, di ba? They only feed on meat. Or yung para mga kumakain ng mga karne. So, ang example ng ating carnivores is alligators and crocodiles. So, di ba pag zoo, yung ating mga zookeeper or yung mga nagpa-facilitate or yung mga tao sa zoo, so pinapakain yung mga crocodiles gamit yung mga meat ng manok ata, yun, or baboy. Most of the time sa baboy, yung mga uh, meat na kanilang kinakain. So, yan. Carnivores ang ating alligators and crocodiles na may strong jaws. O yung kanilang bunga nga. So, syempre, meron silang mga ngipe na super laki din. And meron silang powerful tails. So, medyo, medyo spiny siya pero medyo scaly din siya. So, ganun yung sa alligators and crocodiles. So, yan. Strong jaws. So, yan. They eat only meat and itong kanilang powerful na tail. So, reptiles siya kasi nga, oh, scaly ang kanilang skin. So, may mga scales sila. So, yan example ng crocodile. So, may mga malaki, may maliit na mga crocodile. But, pag nagiging dangerous sila kapag meron sila nakikita ang mga, ang mga threat sa kanilang mga paligid. So, trigger sila para maging uh, aggressive and maging uh, uh, magkaroon ng tendency na makasakit or makaharm ng ibang uh, species or na mga most especially tao. So, tortoises and turtles are covered with hard shell called, called carapace. When frightened or surprised, they hide their heads inside their shells. So, di ba, pag-aralan na natin, na natin ito sa adaptation of animals sa letter B, if I'm not mistaken. Meron silang hard shell 
tinatawag natin carapace kapag sila ay natatakot or nagulat. So, tinatago nila ang kanilang mga ulo sa kanila mga shells or tinatawag natin hard shells. So, ayan. Next. Ito ang ating tortoise. So, yan. So, super cute. So, yan ang kanilang hard shell. So, syempre, kapag kapag sila ay natatakot or nafafrighten or nagugulat, so, yan. Nagtatago yung ulo nila sa shell na to. So, next. Lizards and snakes are dangerous animals. They, they too are carnivores. Their lower jaws are loosely connected to, to their jaws. So, there ito. Sorry. Sorry po ulit. Making it easy for them to open their mouths wide enough to swallow a large prey. Oh my God. Ang snakes talaga, example siya yung mga grabe yung mouth niya. And kung papaano nyo mas, mas swallow yung kanilang prey. So, buong buo na talaga kakainin. So, paano nangyari yun? Napaka-stretchy nung kanyang katawan. And... Napakadelikado para sa ating mga tao yung mga snakes mostly yung kapag yung mga aggressive and yung mga makakamandag talaga like cobra. So ganon. So, ay. So next, ito ang tinatawag nating snake and lizard. So I am so afraid of snakes. Makita lang ako ng picture or makakita ako ng snake in real life. So natatakot talaga ako. So, pag yung nakatakas man, pag sa zoo, okay lang naman siya kasi may, may harang siya. Pero, but in real life, pag hawakan mo, may himatay talaga ako sa takot. I'm so afraid on snakes and mga spider not, not really on spiders, pero takot po ako sa snake talaga and sa frog. So, yan. So, konting recap tayo kasi patapos na pala ang ating slide. So, ang ating reptiles ay ruling life forms on Earth 150 million years ago. So, ang ating reptile is an animal whose covered is dry and scaly skin. Characteristics niya is used lungs. Meron silang four legs. Nag-change yung kanilang temperature depende sa air temperature. Most reptiles lay eggs and alligators and crocodiles have strong and powerful tails. So, yan. Meron silang hard shell. So, yan. They're carnivores. And, yan. And ang ating lesson for this day. Thank you. Have a great day and God bless. So, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. If you have suggestions, clarifications, and questions about this video. So, suggest kayo kung ano mga topic ang pwede namin ituro sa inyo during the summer. So, thank you. Have a great day and God bless. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.